I feel like a fraud. I feel like I have spent my life pursuing so much that was a result of wanting to do what everybody thought I should do. Well, we don't want you to feel like that because it isn't true. In other words, you can't be a fraud and you're being much harder on yourself than you deserve than what your actions uh, express. And what you're really feeling when you say, I feel like a fraud, that that yucky feeling of that, what you're really feeling is the disagreement between you and your inner being. That's what you're really feeling because your inner being knows the authenticity of you. And it's only a thought away for you to get back there. So the less frequently that you say that or focus upon that or beat the drum of that and keep that active within you, the better you're going to feel. Here are more accurate words. I often feel in opposition to what my inner being feels. And right now I choose to call myself a fraud in the explaining of it. But what I'm really doing is just holding myself as my own object of attention and disapproving. And since my inner being doesn't do it, then I get a big hairy icky word and use to describe myself. Okay, that worked. I mean, yeah. And I've practiced doing it for so long that I don't think I can go cold turkey. Well, it's really the way I've been seeing myself. And quite often I want to express it so that people will explain to me that that's not really true. But it isn't really true. It isn't even close to true. It's off. It's bogus. It's inaccurate. Okay. Stop saying it All now. Right. Thank you. Okay. Uh, may I continue a little longer? Okay. It all depends. Um. <laughs> In other words, we're not going to be encouragers. We're not going to open a platform for you to disagree with who you are. So if you're not pretty pliable in us pulling you in the direction of who you really are, then we're going to bounce you. That's fair. That's fair. Fair warning to everyone. Okay. No, I, I, totally fair. Um, I recently moved back to California to look after two 90-year-old parents. I came from, I would have to say, a, a spectacularly dysfunctional family. And well, you wouldn't have to say that. You just want to. <laughs> you just... You just want to an explanation of something that for some reason you, you want to keep alive this perspective that you don't want. And so every time you say, well, I would have to say something, stop and say, do I really have to say that? This is my big chance to ask you about it. Good luck. So, the, <laughs> so, so I, I you got to understand we're, we're standing with your inner being in your vortex, right? coaxing you in right. we're not going to coax us out no 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 no. I don't want to you know what I'm not trying to be right here believe me good oh I have given that up a long time ago we're just wanting to point out to you that that the conversation can go in a way that makes you feel like, less like a fraud or in a way that makes you feel more like a fraud and we're just rooting for that way okay good like okay when I came back I've been away from for 25, 30 years, 30 years, 40, anyway, a long time. And um, now, did you see how you got specific and you didn't need to? Okay. A and long time is less specific than 30, 40, 30, okay. 50, 30, 30, 30. <laughs> long, long time. time. Long time. Practice being less specific when you think you might be going down a road that's uncomfortable. Okay. Okay. This is valuable coaching here. Oh, I, I appreciate it. I really do. When I came back, I snapped back to, I'm 16 years old. Of course you did. I'm scared of my mommy. I'm being bullied by a 90-year-old woman. That's ridiculous, isn't I, it's it? It's ridiculous. Well, stop it. I <laughs> so what you just said to us is that while I was gone, I was letting my environment control my vibration. And when I went to a different environment, I let that environment control my vibration. And that's why I feel like a fraud. I'm not being true to who I am. I'm being true to expectations of others. So it's sort of fun to move from place to place to see the variable in what they expect. And maybe my life shouldn't be moving around until I find the perfect 
environment that evokes perfectly from me maybe my work should be to line up with who I am so that I can be true to who I am in every environment that was really good that was that really was that was okay wow okay um. <laughs> because you see what you have going on with your mother is expectation on both parts so now go general let's take this specific thing let's place you mentally in the environment with your parents and let's sorry just had to do that because that's what it feels like well sorry go ahead you, you might be more trouble than you're worth here we're, 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 oh I know we're, I know we're, probably we're just oh my God. here's what we were about to say before you made it hard for us to say it you want to go general you want to go general about it and so what general statement could you make that feels less uh, the specifics that you made were you said I feel like that 16 year old child who was afraid of her mommy now that's really specific didn't she take you back to an earlier time now you could have said in general terms you could have been more general and got the same point across but you wanted to dramatize it because it was what you were feeling you could have said it's like I never left that would have been more general you might have said I feel like the same person who was once there but you were more specific which made the energy of it stronger and when you feel that when you think that way it makes you want to pound your head on the microphone and no one with headphones liked that <laughs> so when you think in terms of going general let's talk about your mother what general statements could you make could you say I want to get along with her I want to authentically get along with her without faking it I want to be who I really am as I interact with my mother is that an accurate Excellent. statement yeah that's right. which means I want to love my mother right because when you are not loving your mother you are not authentic because who you really are loves your mother so now we can get more specific I want to stop being the fraud who doesn't love my mother and be the authentic being who does love my mother now you can't feel that yet because we haven't convinced you of which part of you is real and which part of you is not real we would like to just be able to say simply to you when you don't feel good it's the not real part and when you feel really good that's the real part you can and, tell I'm a beginner and we will tell you this about your mother she hasn't been real uh, in her relationship with you ever ever and so you've had a hard job because you've been interacting with someone who's not been in alignment with who she really is until she taught you how to not be in alignment with who you are and then you've been beating up on yourself for all of these years about not being real and now you've gone full circle right back into the middle of it so that you can show yourself that now you didn't have to it's nice of you to be there you didn't have to go back in order to rediscover that but it sure came out in a full way so that you can see it but knowing what you now know do you know that you're supposed to feel good do you know that have you been listening to us at all do you get it that have you been listening to us at all oh, I have. do you get it that your source energy do you get it that, that the better you feel the more in alignment with who you really are you see your your mother and it's true of almost all parents they didn't mean to but they replaced for you your guidance system at early ages as they taught you you should please me and it's really hard when the one who says you should please me is unpleasable that's right. really really hard it really is to have someone who is demanding that you please them but they are unpleasable it'll make you feel like a fraud and I was upset I was upset with myself because I, I saw myself as a quote adult unquote and I was shocked by how quickly how instantly well it, 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 it never it, back. it never really went that far away from that because you had not really found your authentic self in other words we really meant it when we say you're like almost everybody else you're looking to this one and this one and this one Esther's quite surprised at herself at how much she was relying on someone's impression or opinion or pleasure for her awareness of where she stands in other words it's an easy thing to do because you want to uplift and when someone is pleased by what you do then you're winning in a sense in that but 
it never really works out very well what you're really wanting to do is to remember who you are and so this is a perfect opportunity for you because as you stand in this environment where you are making this general statement it's not my job to please you it but it is my job to be pleased and so I'm going to find a way of taking this situation and this one and this conversation and this one and I'm going to turn it in my own mind into a way that my inner being can join me in the thought you're going to come into your own power and something's going to surprise you and you have time to do this because you have a wise mother what's going to happen to you as you come into your alignment is she's going to begin to revel with you in your power it's your vulnerability that makes her nuts you see when you come into your power you're going to discover that not only do you have nothing to be afraid of but the least thing that you have to be afraid of is your disapproving mother you're not afraid that she's going to beat you up you're not afraid that she's going to cut you out of the will you're not afraid you're well she is so get over it you, you're, <laughs> you're not, those aren't the things that you are afraid of right. what you're afraid of is her disapproval that matters very much to you you're afraid of the disapproval that you were never able to win from her and we want to congratulate her in never really giving you her approval fully or consistently because the approval that you're seeking was off track what you're wanting is the resonance of source not the approval of of a mother or a lover or or a society you see we so appreciate the way your words unfolded in this as you began by saying I feel like a fraud I want to be my authentic self you see and then everything that we have dialogued since then explains just exactly that doesn't it so in general terms I want to love my mother in general terms I know that my mother means well in general terms it was never her job to validate me in general terms it was never my job to be validated by her in general terms it's not either one of our jobs to get along with each other we both have much bigger fish to fry in general terms I'm glad that I get to be back with her again so that I can realize that I did have some unfinished business with me not with her some unfinished business with me not with her you see what we're getting at feel how the, those general statements feel good but when you get into the weeds of sort of like that isn't it you can be on the nice paved path or you can get off in the burry stickly weeds when you get off into the weeds of what well, she said and she shouldn't have said and I think she was thinking and what could she have been thinking and it's been like that forever and she did that way back when and oh my god hey, you've been she... in my car you've been in my car it's true no it's it's, it's exactly what I do you just it, it, you're just wearing yourself out on things that just don't matter and when you do that you separate yourself vibrationally from your clarity and power and joy and love and then you blame your mother for it Ooh. <laughs> ouch <laughs> or someone present depending upon who's around sometimes it's the government sometimes it's the economy sometimes it's the checker the grocery store it moves around it moves around some someone should call someone because I don't feel good right now and I'm sure it's not me because I want to feel good so I wouldn't do it to me it must be it must be someone else and it started a long time ago so it's probably my mother so this concept of me having an authentic relationship where someone says this is how I feel this is what I believe and I get a chance oh, to give say, it up it's give just it up. it's you just can, give it up right? you can only have an authentic relationship with somebody who's in their authenticity and so what you're actually saying is Abraham if I bring my mother will you get her in the vortex <laughs> so that I can talk to her and we say it's the long hard way just go in the vortex and be authentic and the better you feel see what happens is as you feel the discord of not having of, of somebody not being real with you then your attention to their not being real makes you not real either and then you and then that's your point of attraction that's why the need to control things is so rampant 
on the planet that's why almost everybody's mad at somebody about something and it's such a waste of potential joyous moments